Good day. Thank you for joining me for another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. I have loaded up here the game Titan by Atlantis Software in 1990. I have I have high hopes for this. I haven't actually tried it yet. Design and code by Barry and Brian Southern. Now, I did have a quick look at the manual for this. Seems to be a shooter, I'm going to say, although with maybe some Star Raiders type elements, although... Well, maybe Star Raiders is stretching a point. There are four difficulty levels, and why is this not doing anything? Oh, there we go. One to four, four being the hardest, and it defaults to one. Or, sorry, two, my mistake. All right, here we go. Ooh, like a pseudo mouse cursor. Isn't that interesting? 1990, we would have been into the area of GUI desktops, or GUI, GUI interfaces anyway, at least a little bit, um, with the various things, the Atari ST, the Amiga, the Mac, I think the Mac. There would have been GUIs available for Solaris and um, some of the Unix things at the time. In any case, uh, I've forgotten what this all has to say. There are five, five planets to defend, or space stations, and I forget what these are. So let's have a look. Intersect attacking squadron. Okay, so you can either do that or go to a planet. Mimus, Mimus. System Andromeda. It's got some stats on the planet. That's a pretty small planet. Uh, volcanic arid. Well, let's go there. Ooh. It's, uh, as usual, said a little loud. All right. So, oh. Right. Shooter. Fuel. Okay. Ooh, enemies are a little hard to see. apparently as well. Okay, E, I think that's energy. Or, I'm not sure what that is. Energy. Could go have a look at the manual. I ran out of fuel. That seemed a bit... a bit much, actually. So I think the E possibly upgraded my shot. doesn't seem to be going down as, as quick as it was before. So those things aren't too hard to hit. Or turrets. Oh, but man, the enemies come out and just collide with you. And they're quite difficult to see against the background, which is unfortunate. Are those shots? I'm not sure if those are shots or not. Ugh. And I'm done. Is there a ship counter? The displays are all right. Um, again, with the, I guess the ship is a different the player ship is a different color, which is good. The uh, but the, the baddies are blend right into the background as do the turrets. I don't think I can get far enough over to shoot that one at the far right there. I have a double shot. How did that happen? sort of auto-shoot. I don't have to keep hammering the game over. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Well, I guess I should give this a little bit more of a chance, but uh, not exactly dazzling was my first impression. Where am I? Oh, down at the bottom of the score chart there. Okay. All right, well, let's give it another go here. Maybe I'll try one of these uh, intercept. Okay, that's fuel. Interesting. So when you sit up at the top, your shots are 
super fast. Of course, you have to, for some reason, watch the thing refuel when you... I don't know what the E is doing. Okay, at least in space you can kind of see the... Did I just get hit by each one of those things? Oh my god. I think so. They come out and you can't really get underneath them a lot of the time. <laughs> the like, they come out from the bottom quarter of the screen and your ship is so massive and really in such a small area of the screen. Like, that's going to be, what, a little more than a quarter of the screen, I guess? It's pretty easy to get hit. Okay, there's some fuel. Or do they come out at random spots? Alright. That didn't go very well. Fuel, okay, good. I don't really see any indication of what the E might correspond to. Where did those shots come from? What the hell? I don't see anything on the screen that is obviously gives a meaning to the uh, Okay, so I just got immediately run over by by the guys that come whipping out of the side of the screen. Okay, actually, let me just flip over quickly to the manual here. E or F. F is fuel. E is gives you extra speed, extra life, or bonus points. Okay, I guess that's clear enough. Could be anything, really. Literally anything except fuel. Speed, life, or bonus points. Shooting a cross-shaped weapons container will increase the firepower of your laser. All right, fair enough. Um, let's have another go or two. It doesn't seem like difficulty two should be beyond me. So the color scheme has changed. out of the side there and it's very easy to get hit let's just put it that way uh. and their movement is pretty erratic as well <laughs> okay the ability for them to just, like that, just immediately smash into you with no, no warning is uh, not great. Like there's not enough, your ship takes up probably, what is it, two, three, four, there's like five or six ship widths and like three or four ship lengths to the play field. And you don't have a lot of room to maneuver. Okay, what's nice about this, besides the tiny little play field and the massive amount of space that seems to be devoted to displaying no useful information whatsoever. <laughs> Dang it, I was hoping to end this Atlantis software series with something that was a little better. Uh, let's try another one of these planets. The layout seems to be the same every time, unless... Hyperion, System Andromeda. How could this be the same system as... Well, maybe that gets randomized. Okay, so the ship animations of the of the bad guys are kind of interesting. The ship shapes and animations. The cross shape thing, which I might have just shot, gives you a weapons upgrade. got literally worked over by ships that I could barely even see coming out of the side there. That whole bottom thing is 90% wasted space. Okay, yeah, I got a double shot by shooting the cross thing. 
so that blue area, currently blue. The colors aren't bad, except that what on earth killed me there? I literally saw nothing. I am filled with a uh, horrible ennui and lack of desire to play this game. The vast majority of the screen contains no useful information whatsoever. Um, can't hardly tell the flying bad guys from the background. The backgrounds are nice looking, but the lack of contrast between the background and the bad guys is it almost almost unplayable. And uh, what else? What a, the vast majority of the screen is not filled with anything useful. And I am now getting worked over again for no reason that I have within my control. Well, I know why, but I can't do anything about it because A, I can't move fast enough, I'm too big, and they just come whipping out of nowhere right at you. I mean, they materialize almost a ship width into the screen. Don't even get me started on that. <sighs> the inconsistency of the firing speed. Yeah, sadly, there aren't very many of these Atlantis games that are even worth looking at. Some. There are some. There are some. But, um, just not that many. I don't see how... I'd like to see the, the, the writers of this game play it to see if they could do any better. I'm sure they could do a little bit better, but... Alright, well that's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't have too much good to say about that. It's somewhat visually attractive, nice colors and things, but uh, it has some serious flaws. And I've had enough of playing it, to be honest. So uh, I, I think that concludes my look at, Adva at, at Atlantis Software Titles. Let me just have a quick boo at the, the uh, catalog on Atari Mania. The only one I haven't played is a soccer football league simulator. And I might fire that up, I guess, to take a look at it. Um, it doesn't even really look like you get to play. I think it's just like a management simulator, meaning I don't think you get to actually play the game, in which case I don't think I'm likely to uh, do a video on it, but I'll probably fire it up, fire it up, to, fire it up to take a look. Other than that, I believe I have covered every single game in the Atlantis software catalog according to Atari Mania. So, there we are. You're probably getting sick if you're watching my videos regularly. You are probably getting tired of uh, Atlantis software games. So there's not going to be much more of that, I'm afraid. Still tons of games in the Atari catalog. Some real crackers that I haven't taken a stab at yet. Some of them I'm a little... I don't know, I'm almost hesitant to play. I like them so much, and in some cases they're just so long to play as well, um, which makes me hesitate a little bit. I guess I don't necessarily have to play for all that long in order to give a flavor of what the game's like, or to give a real good sense of what the game's like. Yeah, all right. I feel like that's a few extra minutes of rambling on, so I'm going to call it there. Thanks so much for watching, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.